Hey everyone, this is Deborah from Fleet and Family Support Center and I just want to thank you uh, in advance for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and talk about something that's really exciting. You are watching this video because you are getting ready to experience homecoming. Whether it's from deployment or a really long underway, maybe just being geographically separated for you know, a while. Um, but I want to spend some time talking with you about what it means to reintegrate, right? How do we take the two separate lives that we've just had and try and mesh them together so that they come into one? This is not an easy process. From a military spouse, believe me, I've lived through this. We've experienced many deployments and just like every deployment being different, I can tell you that every homecoming has been very different. I've learned a lot of lessons, uh, so I want to pass along some insight into just some things like communication, expectations, uh, and just some tips, right, to be able to make this integration process as easy as it can be, right, because it still comes with its own unique opportunities. But we spend a lot of time planning and getting ready, making sure everybody's prepared for deployment. So we want to do some of that as well for homecoming and what that next new normal is going to look like. You know, we're all kind of living in uh, this new normal and, and we're all still trying to adjust and adapt. So, um, you know, it'll be some unique opportunities there too. So I want to just go through a couple of slides here. Don't let this word scare you, right? The, the I word. Um, when I give this on return and reunions, I focus on more than just what you are initially thinking. Uh, I go into a lot of the emotional intimacy portions, the intellectual intimacy, and how those things are just as important as anything else that you may have thought about. Uh, so I want to spend a little bit of time first talking about communication. I cannot stress to you enough how important communication is uh, in day-to-day -day life, right? And now in this new phase of meshing those lives back together, communication is going to be even more important than it was. Right now, communication as the service member may be difficult, right? It may be difficult for the spouse to send emails and then they're waiting and waiting and waiting because comms may be down or whatever the case might be, right? Even in the best circumstances, communication can be a challenge. So those emails, I remember those emails. They were the ones where I would be super excited and I would share with my husband all of the things that happened and it was great. And there would be, you know, a couple paragraphs and then I get one sentence back, right? Yeah. So it was a challenge to keep that conversation going when I got responses that were one sentence long. And it wasn't until, you know, a little bit later on that I really sat down and had a conversation and even started doing this for Fleet and Family that I realized the monotony of Groundhog Day. You know, it's, it's truly for a lot of you feeling like, you know, the millionth day that has been exactly the same over and over again. And it can be hard to respond to those emails. So that's okay. Let them know that. Let the people that are writing to you know that, hey, it's the same. I'm sorry. I followed the same routine. It was chow and cleaning stations. And then I stood watch and, you know, the same pattern over and over again. But maybe, you know, throw in some things. Some suggestions to put in that email might be things about deployment, right? Maybe ask them what has been the most difficult part of deployment for them? Maybe it was missing you, maybe it was kids, whatever the case may be, this opens the door to be able to allow them to express the challenges that they've had. And all they're looking for is the validation. 
hey, yeah, life was rough. You know, thank you. I appreciate you for doing all the things that you've done, for balancing the checkbook, for dealing with the kids and now having to homeschool and all those kinds of things. So ask them, what has been the most difficult part? Likewise, many spouses and family members are probably getting excited because it is that homecoming time, right? They've got their own personal countdowns going on. They've got outfits picked out. They know exactly how their hair and makeup may be done. But let them know what your expectations are as well. And we'll talk more in detail about expectations and how I learned the hard way yet again, right, about uh, how to communicate those but ask them, what, what are you planning? What are you thinking? Maybe they've already asked you that question. Uh, your mind may not be at that place where you can think about it yet, right? Because I know a lot of times we're worried about, am I going to get turned around? Are we going to get extended? You know, um, there's a slew of things that could happen prior to coming in and being more pure side. Uh, or actually landing, you know, in the airfield, walking through the hangar, being able to meet up with your loved ones. So I totally understand if your mind's not there yet, but we need to make sure that our loved ones understand as well. Have them tell you what they're thinking. You know, maybe they have said, hey, just a blanket statement of tell me what you want, right? Have them give you some options hey, what's choice A, what's choice B, what's choice C? And maybe you have that one particular restaurant in mind or that one particular activity that you wanna do, let them know, right? I promise you we're not mind readers. I haven't met someone yet that is. I'd love that superpower, um, but we're not mind readers. So just let us know. Some other ideas of communication, right? Um, these are just some simple questions that you could also ask um, to, to be able to put in there. Um, one of the ones that I love to ask uh, sailors to share are things like, you know, how do you know that your spouse loves you? Or how do you know that your kids love you? What is it that you do to show them love? So think about that, right? Ask your spouse, hey, what do I do that makes you reassured, right, in the fact that I love you? That would be a great communication starter, great conversation to be able to then have. Um, I know, again, my husband and I would talk a lot about fears, right? It's scary to come together and to have those lives mesh again. You know, my house stays a lot cleaner when he's gone. I'm not picking up cups and socks and all these other things. Um, but I do miss it because he's the one that takes out the trash, right? So whatever those fears are, don't be afraid to share them either. It is not easy to take those lives that have been very separate for months on end and mesh them back together. We can't take a remote like Adam Sandler in the movie Click and pause time. So things have changed and that's a discussion that we're going to have to have. It's not always easy, right? So I um, encourage you to ask some questions, right? Take some of these that you see right here and put them in those emails. Hey, what did you miss most? What are you looking forward to most about me being home? Uh, my answer to my husband is taking out the trash again, because again, that's his chore, not mine. Uh, but strike up that conversation, right? If you need other suggestions or tips or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are just an email away. You can connect with us on Facebook as well. Uh, of course, depending on connectivity, but reach out to us there uh, and stay tuned for more on those expectations, how I learned the hard way, and even some tips. See you guys soon.